Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Last time we met in Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Um, we we got um, to the second area of the Panda King's lair, so now we're actually going to continue on and finish up the Panda King's lair because uh, we got one more treasure key to get, one more set of clues to get, but unfortunately we won't be getting the vault page this time around because of some bullshit explanation we're going to get in a bit. And, uh, yeah, so we got 40 clues left. <laughs> um, but can you guess what the last level of the game's gonna be until, well, we do the actual final world? Oh, take a guess. Yeah, it's a Carmelita chase. At the very sight of you. Shut up, Ringtail. Ow. But I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns Seriously, how far did your jurisdiction go? You, We fucking chased after us in Utah. You arrested Miss Ruby, and now you're in fucking China? I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint... She's an inspector, not a detective. Get it right, dumbass. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. She had like a million chances to shoot me. Why didn't she? All right, so yep, yeah, another Carmelita chase. Same rules apply as last time. She'll try to shoot at you with her shock pistol. She has shit aim. Um, well, it's not that she has shit aim. It's more that the shots take forever to get to you. So, you got really nothing to worry about. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, yes, there are clues to get. I'm going to try my best to get all the clues in one rotation rather than waste my time and uh, have to cut. Well, honestly, okay. So for this one, I'm going to break the rule. If I end up missing any clues, I'm just gonna wait until the end of the game, because until we finish the game, because it's a long explanation. It's not really a long explanation. You have to meet the final boss to get the last, the last uh, Thievius Raccoonus page. Uh, in in the vault. Why? Because apparently it's translated in owl dialect or some voodoo bullshit. I don't know. And the final boss is a robotic owl. I know what I said. I would have been fine. I don't, I don't lose Lucky Charms anymore. Oh, I think I fucked up. Did I go backwards after this section? No, I can't. Fuck it. I'm going to do this. Carmelita, what the fuck? <laughs> Carmelita just watches and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, did he just teleport? All right. I, I do want to get all the clues before the end of the game, because honestly, that way I could just go straight to the vault and not worry about anything. I'll just keep going. You got shit aim. Come on. Yeah, she aims for the icicles. 
Oh, shit. Hold up. No, no, no. I am... All right. I can't die. I, I'm keeping my lucky charms. No. I can't... I, I'm keeping the lucky charms because I want to show you guys what the justification is and what Bentley says when you approach the vault with all the clues. Where the fuck did I miss clues? Oh, fuck me. How did I miss that? All right, so... I mean, I guess... I cut to the vault. Nah, we're pretty close to the end. Especially considering this is a speed level attack by technicality. I think the one part about this level I hate is this section right here where you have to wait for the fucking um, icicles to drop. But, I mean, that's the only time I really don't like that. And the fact that Carmelita hits the damn things. Carmelita, you would have had a point-blank shot at me. Unfortunately, this vault code appears to have been written in owl dialect. I won't be able to crack the code until we meet and defeat the bird who created it. So, this dude has... can tap into chaos theory. What, owl dialect? Oh, no. All right, that's the end of the level. Watch your back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there. And if not tomorrow, then the next day, then the next day, then the next day, then the next day. <laughs> Ugh, Lord. All right, let's go beat up the camp. All right, let's go beat up Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Die. And if I enter, man, enter, if I can enter the next world with two lucky charms, fucking grand. But, uh, Panda King's this fight's actually pretty difficult if you don't know his pattern. But guess what I don't know? I mean, I do know his moves, mainly because he follows the Dragon Ball Z method of fighting by shouting out all his fucking moves. Here for revenge? No, revenge. Welcome. It was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? It said worthless villages, but he said worthless village. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, it's funny to me that in Sly 3, this sexy. dumb motherfucker recruits this asshole into his team for a little bit. The beauty of my new firework technique. By the way, he killed Sly's father. Flame, fool. Right, so we're fighting the panda. When he says fiery wheel, just jump. And then you run up to him. Can I beat the Panda King without getting hit? Almost done here. I just noticed that his um, I just noticed that the marker, the little health bar thing. Booming chop, booming chop, arms of thunder. Boom. All right, last phase. So basically, for firing wind, fiery jump, wheel. or wind. Um, Booming shop, run around him, and you win. And then for the palms of whatever he called it, um, 
Dude, just stand I'm in the middle of them and you'll be fine. What was that? I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place the Krakatoa volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here. Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. All right. So yeah, that's the end of every world except for the last one. We got one more. Okay. Um, in Russia. Um, so I'm actually gonna end the part here. It's gonna be a short one probably, um, because we're entering the last world of the game, and it kind of doesn't really have any good cutoff points. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys next time for Sly Cooper and Thievius Raccoonus, where we're gonna be going after the last member of the Fiendish Five. So see you guys next time, and take care.